Hello all, welcome back. This is, well, this is actually part 11 of our body modeling, but it's part 2 of our feet and roughly part 3 of the hands. So um, we're going to get in here and let's start with the hands. Let's tab in here and we got to start uh, getting this thing all uh, stitched up together. So um, one of the ways I'm going to do this is by working on methods to put the cursor there first and center on it working on ways that we can add more detail um, to our mesh here in the forearm <coughs> and adding uh, divisions to our hand so one of the first things I want to do is I want to get these sort of lined up in uh, the manner that uh, they just uh, will find out where we need our divisions more so I'm going to grab that vertex and let's move that on Y and sort of line it up with this one. And we can, it looks like we can move this one as well, line it up. Okay, it looks like they're kind of following suit here. So let's go ahead and merge these at center. And I'm going to um, lower our levels of Catmull Clark on here. So it just speeds up the interface a little bit. Okay. Looks like a lot of these are actually matching up fairly well. Quite well, actually. Pull these in on Y. Match those. And it looks like they might all match up. I may have miscounted earlier, or I was just thinking something off. No, there's there's a few in here that don't really line up very well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this division in here and kind of get rid of this. <clears throat> on the bicep, which I don't usually put that in there anyway. So, just W, subdivide that. Let's go back to vertices. We'll do this one at a time. See where that leads us for this one. This one lines up relatively. And then this one, we'll divide these as well. And this one isn't quite, it doesn't quite uh, go to the position that, I, that the top one does. That's okay. We'll just rework it on the bicep end. So we'll subdivide that. And we'll weld those at center. And now we have our wrist basically all stacked in there. I'm going to take these down here. Actually, let's go to edges. Let's grab these edges. W, subdivide, and we'll do the same thing here. W, subdivide. And let's go to faces and get these kind of fixed up a little bit. <coughs> oh, one more thing. So divide these. Okay. Now let's go to the faces. And it looks like I did something wrong there. Okay, well, it's easier just to uh, delete these faces, I guess, in this particular area. Let's get rid of those. And then we'll uh, just kind of merge some of these up. Let's go to edges. Let's get rid of this. Okay, let's weld that. And let's move that cursor. face here, Alt-J, and same thing here. 
One of the reasons I'm doing this is because under the wrist there are two little ligaments. You really only see one. There's actually two down there. Um, unless I'm, you know, smoking something. Which is just not me. Anyway. Uh, create a face between those, which is actually an edge. And then W subdivide. Let's go to our edges. Face. 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 And you got the idea. Face. Okay. <clears throat> it tends to, it's kind of out more towards the thumb area, about this this general area right here. So we pull those down. It might look, it looks like it might even be a little bit further. But uh, let's just grab these two and smooth them. Let's go up one more. There we go. Okay. Tab back in edit mode. Let's move this one. Okay. Now then, we need to fix these up. Let's go to faces. And I'm going to uh, delete them. Actually, yes, let's delete them. So now we have a big hole in our mesh. And that's exactly what we want, big hole. <laughs> let's add a loop right here. Let's just kind of scale that up a little bit. Whoops. And scale it up just a little. Not too much. And we need to create a face in between those. Face. And then we'll subdivide it once. That's just to connect these up. Create a face there. And here. And these, go to vertices. We're going to do the extruding trick. Try and get it as flat this whole circle you want to kind of face that as make it basically flat to your view and uh, because we're going to extrude these out and we'll just create a face there and a face there and one here now we just have basically a wireframe representation of what we have I'll show you there that's basically what we're creating quad and quad Oops, undo that, I accidentally went all the way to the back. <clears throat> and, okay, let's smooth that. Should take care of our problem. There we go. And I can see we got have, we don't got, we have a quad and a quad. Um, we probably could have placed that a little bit better, but it's not going to really affect too much. We just got to make sure that it's not bulging out like it is. So let's go ahead and go to vertices, grab this, and grow it up. Even grabbing some of these. Okay, smooth that. Everyone should want to check it. There we go. <coughs> so now we have our our hand basically put on there. You can still see that, and we can probably fix that. We can take more divisions in this way or something. I'm not real keen on that though. Let's go to edges. Let's see what happens when we rotate some of these. Okay, I'm okay with that. What about now we have this right here? Let's go ahead and just delete those edges. And one, two, face, okay, smooth it. Face, there we go. And that's kind of ugly, but it's not really an issue. That is, there's not a lot of deforming that happens there. So that's okay. Also gonna go ahead and 
extrude this out, scale it down to the top, and I'm just doing this to add a little bit more geometry to our elbow. Take this one and pull it out. Just augmenting the elbow a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> so now we've got uh, this thing we got to clear up here. Alt J. Let's join those up. And Alt J. We have this little triangle right here. Okay, we're going to delete that. And we're going to see what we can do up here. We're going to divide these around to come around to the back here. And we're just going to basically put another band in. Aha! Right to there. Sub so W, subdivide and we'll get rid of our little triangles. Okay. Let's go to edges, create a face here. And we'll create a face here. And then we'll make that one face. There we go. So we cleared that up. In a sense, that's a little bit cleaner. Um, I'm going to take these in just a little bit on Z. Just to add a little bit more definition on our bicep. Take these back on Y. And we'll smooth these. We can also rotate some of these around to get better flow between them. Let's smooth all those one more time. I'm just going to use screen space and kind of maneuver that down a little bit. It's a little bit better. This uh, this little dip in here is not uh, not super. <laughs> So let's go ahead and round that back the other way. A little bit better. That's kind of an augmented dip. I don't think that's really that great. But feel free to take it out of yours if, if you so feel. Anyway, let's go ahead and smooth these a little bit. Cursor selection, C to center it. And this is a little bit augmented even for me. So let's smooth that maybe twice. And let's leave it like that for now. Let's pull this one out on X. Let's actually grab this whole loop and scale it up a little bit just so we can smooth it. Because when you smooth it, it takes it in. I did the same thing up here. Whoops. There we go. W smooth smooth twice. Okay. So let's go ahead and merge our feet here. Cursor selection, center it, then we'll just put the cursor over here so it's not in the way. Now we're going to need to delete these faces that are in here. X faces. 